Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with Let's Talk Money on what could be the most important thing to watch in your stocks over the next few years. All you out there in the nation know I love a stock with a strong balance sheet, that cash stability and financial flexibility. It's one of the most overlooked strengths in stock picking and is going to be hugely important this year and next. Cheap money and the pandemic have spawned a market monster with companies loading up on trillions of dollars of debt over the last year. Debt borrowed by companies has ballooned to over $11 trillion. That's almost half the size of our entire economy and more than any other time in history, even more than before the 2008 crash. A study by the Federal Reserve found that this kind of explosion in debt can amplify recessions to come. A lot of companies borrowed tens of billions of dollars last year just to survive. Corporate America as a whole borrowed more than $1.7 trillion last year, 130% more than the previous record and total debt ballooned. And of course it was even worse in those hardest hit industries. Carnival Cruise Lines owed over $33 billion as of February, almost three times the debt it owed back in 2019. Boeing doubled its debt in the pandemic to $64 billion. And again, a lot of these companies had no choice but to borrow money, but it will have long-term effects on the stock price. Nation, the bill always comes due. We could be entering an era where high interest expense on that debt destroys the earnings for certain stocks and the stock price flatlines for years. In this video, I'll show you what to watch for in the balance sheet to avoid this trap. We'll look at a simple stock screen that narrows your list of stocks to buy, then reveal the three stocks to watch with healthy cash flows. I'll be starting in the featured collections area of StockCard.io, a great resource for finding groups of stocks around a theme. And we're going to start here with the strong balance sheet collection of stocks, a list of 79 companies with solid financial positions then narrow down our list from there. I'll leave a link to stock card in the video description below so you can check that out. And as a special bonus, I've negotiated an exclusive discount for all you out there in the community. Use the promo code BOWTIENATION, all one word in lowercase, for an exclusive discount beyond the free trial. Let's get started, but first, you know I've got to send that special shout out to all you out there in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. First on our list of cash machine stocks is home builder DR Horton, ticker DHI, the largest US builder at $33 billion market cap. Now DHI builds almost 10% of the entire US residential market and has well over that in some of its largest markets. Nearly one in five homes in the Dallas-Fort Worth area is built by DR Horton. The company is fairly well diversified regionally with a little more exposure there in the southeast and the south central US, but that's just where the growth is right now, so you would expect more activity in those regions. And while the home builders have done really well over the last year, it could be just the start of a 10-year bull run for these stocks. Home building in the United States over the last two decades has created nearly 300,000 fewer homes per year than in the 30 years prior. That's become a deficit of 5.5 million homes according to a study by the National Association of Realtors. In fact, just to get back to where we have enough homes to meet that demand, the United States would have to build more than 2.1 million units a year over the next 10 years. That's more than we built each year during the boom 10 years ago. DHI has balance sheet cash of $2.1 billion versus just $4.5 billion in debt and a debt to equity ratio of just 34%, a great financial position for a $30 billion company. It's producing $1.1 billion in free cash flow annually with over $5 billion in cash from operations and an FCF growth rate of 59% over the last three years. Earnings are expected higher by 64% this year to $10.50 a share, which means the stock is trading for just 8.8 .8 times on that price to earnings basis. Now the dividend yield of 0.9% isn't much to get excited about, but with that cash coming out of this company, I think that gets increased really fast. Analysts have an average price target of $106 per share over the next year for a 15% potential return, but the real power here is in that long-term return as the industry makes up for that housing deficit. We'll get back to those two other stocks to watch, but first I want to show you how this screener is set up and, and then how to narrow your stock picks to a more manageable list. That initial balance sheet stocks list starts by filtering for companies with over $300 million in market cap. Now you know we love talking penny stocks here on the channel, but they do tend to get hit hardest in a recession and just have fewer financing options. So if you are looking for these kinds of safer, more financially stable companies, you want to screen for that larger market cap. The screener also filtered for companies with positive earnings and free cash flow over the last year. Now here, free cash flow is the cash from operations left over after paying for that growth spending to keep the business running. So, so obviously when you're talking about these stable financial position companies, you want to see that positive earnings and positive free cash flow. 
the screener filtered for positive free cash flow and revenue growth over the last three years, just to make sure that that longer term cash and the sales growth is positive and not just in that last year. Finally, we also screened for two debt measures here, a debt to equity ratio of less than 0.5 and a current ratio greater than 1.5. Now the debt to equity ratio is just how much debt a company owes versus how much of the assets are owned by equity investors. So if the company, for example, has $200 million in debt and only $100 million in equity, then it would have a debt to equity ratio of 2.0, which means creditors own twice as much as the company as the investors. So this is another big one that investors are gonna to wanna to pay attention to over the next few years. How much of the company do investors actually own and how much is owed to its creditors? Now the current ratio is the current assets of the company. So the assets that can be converted into cash quickly and then divided by the current liabilities, which are all the debts that the company needs to pay over the next year. It's a great measure of how well a company can cover its short-term funding needs. Next here is a timely stock pick, Medifast Inc, ticker MED, one of the largest wellness and weight loss companies at $3.4 billion market cap. Medifast sells through two models, direct to consumer and a coaching model with over 52,000 wellness coaches. What I really like here though, besides that demographic forces behind the trend, is that 90% of the company's revenue is through that recurring monthly subscription-based plan. Nation, let's face it, the pandemic was not good for our waistlines. It was over a year of couch surfing and Oreos, and more than 70% of the US population is now overweight or obese, with over 155 million Americans wanting to lose weight. The company has over $212 million in cash and just $10 million in debt for a net cash positive balance sheet. It's generating $174 million in free cash flow a year and has grown that by 45% annually over the last three years. Earnings are expected 51% higher this year to $13.80 a share on 60% revenue growth. Now that means it's still a little more expensive at 20 times on that PE ratio, but still relatively cheap compared to the stock market. The average analyst target of $360 a share gets you a 26% return over the next year, plus that 2% dividend yield. But this is another one with that long runway potential. Now that initial screen of strong balance sheet stocks still left us with 79 stock picks. So I wanna filter this a little bit more so we don't have quite as much to research. I'll go into the screener on stock card here and first select this good sales growth to filter for only companies with that above average revenue growth. I'm also gonna to toggle for this positive earnings track record and let's filter for dividend paying stocks as well. Now that narrows our list of stocks to research to just six, so maybe play around with the filters a little bit if you want a little bit larger list and more ideas. Next here has the strongest cash flow of the group, Newmont Corporation, ticker NEM, the world's largest gold miner. Through acquisitions and exploration, Newmont has built enough reserves to produce nearly eight million ounces of gold every year through 2030 and beyond. Management is forecasting up to seven million ounces of production a year through 2025, while reducing expenses to an all-in sustainable cost of just 800 $150 an ounce. And that's with the price of gold hovering around $1,800 an ounce at the low end of the recent trading range and it's a great way to hedge inflation risks over the next few years. And this chart really says it all for the company. At just $1,200 an ounce, the company is able to sustain its dividend, pay down debt, and invest for the future. With the price of gold forecast to rise, anything above that $1,200 benchmark is gonna be cash flow and dividend growth. Newmont has balance sheet cash of $5.8 billion, against $6.8 billion in debt, and a debt to equity ratio of just 28%. It's generating over $3.4 billion in free cash flow a year, an increase of 61% annually over the last three years. Earnings here are expected 31% higher to $3.50 a share over the next year for an 18 times multiple. That's on 15% sales growth to $13.2 billion. Now the average analyst target of $72 a share is just 14% above the current stock price, plus that 3.5% dividend yield and all the future cash flows. Click on the video to the right for the five safest monthly dividend stocks you can buy. Five stocks for stable monthly cash flow. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.